In this video, I'll walk you through setting up Git on Windows. I'll show you how to install Git and use Git Bash to set up a Git profile. I'll begin by downloading the latest version of Git from the official Git site, gitscm.com. Once the download completes, you'll need to run the installer from the Downloads folder. I've already done this, so I'll skip past this step. Git Bash was also installed. It is a great command line tool for using Git on Windows. It works similar to the command line tools in Unix environments and makes it easier to set up things like SSH. You'll also find it much easier to do simple things like copy and paste in Git Bash. Let's check it out. I like to confirm that the installation completed successfully by running a simple command. Let's verify which version of Git is installed by running git dash dash version. Now I'm ready to configure my Git profile. The Git profile is important because Git attaches your name and email address to each commit that you make. This makes it easy to keep track of who made changes later. First, I'll add my name using the git config global username command, making sure that I put my name in quotes. Now I'll add my email address using a similar command to what I did before, however my email address does not require quotes. 